we are at we are at the airport getting ready for our Hawaii trip and uh, it's like 6 a.m. but uh, this is where the Hawaii hunt begins. Alarm is steadily going off. We have an eight hour layover at LAX. It's my first time at this airport and I must say that I'm disappointed. May I have your attention please? We have arrived in Hawaii after like, I don't know, 16 hours of flying. All right, guys, so we made it to Hawaii. We were on the beach. It's a wee bit early in the morning, but we couldn't sleep. For six hours difference in time. So it's 6 a.m., it's 12 noon in my mind, and I am ready to hang out at this view right here. And uh, there's my girl, my daughter, my youngest one, Ashlyn, <laughs> taking, taking pictures. You know, that's what teenage girls do, and dads make YouTube content for friends. And I've just bought three uh, Marvel Ages E-Packs. I'm gonna sit down on this chair and open up those three packs and just enjoy life a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I'm super disappointed with the <laughs> Uh, Marvel Unbound pack opening. Blink, really? Blink? That's what I've got. Um, I guess it's one card per pack. I didn't know that. Also, I didn't realize that. I don't think it matters how many packs you buy. You get the same card. So, um, learned that lesson the hard way. But at least, hey, I'm on the beach. <laughs> What's up? Hey. Okay, guys. So, today is the day. Today is the day that we do the Hawaiian hunt what are we hunting today well we've got to be able to carry it back to the states so primarily i would love to find maybe a rare loose marvel legends action figure that i might be looking for something like strife love to find strife uh, the other thing that we're looking for is marvel trading cards whether you know whether it's uh loose single card or whether it's in a pack doesn't matter either one's fine uh, but the last thing that we're looking for is going to be um, comic books, you know, something that we could uh, we can put up. But anyhow, guys, uh, we're going to start that hunt. It's early in the morning. I'm uh, waiting for the girls to get dressed. We're going to get in the car, head to town. I'm so excited. We have found our first Hawaiian comic book shop. Thanks to my wife, who's hiding here in the uh, <laughs> in the video. She spotted it. She's awesome. Give me some. Right here. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to grab some Starbucks and the store is right there and we're about to go inside. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm well, huh? I'm so happy to be here. What you looking for? You know, uh, I'm from the States. We're on vacation. I'm doing a Hawaiian hunt. I'm Justin. I'm Justin, by the way. Yeah. That's okay. You, you're giving some away. Uh, it's not dumb shit. Like, what are you are you recording me right is that, now? Can, me I'll, I'll take it. That you're doing it without me knowing.
color book store that's up there. And I'm not sure they're open. All right, so this is the weirdest thing. This, uh, this place is like on the third floor of a very interesting uh, location. And I'm not even sure it's open, so. But I love adventure, so we're gonna see if somehow uh, I can get in, uh, and see some books, buy some stuff. Oh, there's a whole parking lot here, that's cool. Oh, wow. Well, we trust the bridge. Yep. Too bad. It's like a body shop down there. So weird. Well, uh, place is not open. I called to see if, if they would be open, but nobody answered. And they apparently called me back, but my phones are forwarded because of work. So my assistant got the call and texted me and let me know that they're only open on Saturday. So gonna not be able to hunt high collectors. Was really excited about the possibility of going in there because of some of the stuff I saw online. Thought it was gonna be my best chance to find some Marvel trading cards. But you know what, that's okay. We'll move on to the next location. I'm not sure what that is, so we gotta pull up the map. Had to find some parking. Uh, yeah, just got it. Locked the old car. And walked to this comic book store. I think it's called Other Realms. Yeah, awesome. Well, I'm gonna look around. I know I'm gonna probably see something that I want, sure. And I'm Justin, by the way. What's that? For a beer for us to stop you from actually buying stuff or anything. Like okay, that. yeah. <laughs> and what was your name again? Oh, my name's Darren. Darren? Darren. Darren, nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. Same here. How long are you going to make it? Till uh, Saturday evening. Yeah, my in laws live in Lufkin. Or outside of Lufkin. Lufkin, Texas? Yeah. Well, my in-laws live in a small town outside of Luskin. Oh, small town, small town? Yeah. I'm going to get some, capture some of these books up here. Yeah. Oh, I see the first appearance of Mystique. Or is that, no, that's Miss Marvel number one, isn't it? Beside the Secret Wars? That one? Uh, yeah, that's the first uh, Miss Marvel number one. It's the five-issue set. What do you have on that Spidey Glen, the Venomized Spidey Glen? Uh, spider glam? That's the volume 5, uh, 24 is a second print, uh -huh. but it is the first appearance of spider glam. What do you have on that one? 80. I'd like to look at that one. Yeah. Along with, along with the bishop. Yeah. And maybe that Excalibur. He's got a lot of good books.
such a cool store. I'm really gonna have to take my time in here. Don't know enough about turtles. looking for this guy so interesting last night I was thinking hey I'd love to find this guy again because I haven't been able to find him definitely getting that holy smokes I've never seen this before, but I love the hand in the back of that face. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen that. I used to think that was one of my better books as a kid.
What are these? So Star Wars Legion is a uh, tabletop tactics game. You take huge armies and you fight against each other. There are four factions, the Empire, the Resistance, and the Republic. And that sounds like a lot of fun. So which one sold out? Would that be Luke? I think it's Darth Maul. Or Darth Maul? Really? Mm -hmm. Because the clones are obviously very popular with Bad Batch and everything else coming yeah. out. You know, that Clone Wars era stuff is huge. Yes. yes. I love it too. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, uh, I'm an example of that for sure. Ship fighter game and then a large battleship style. Game. I don't know why I haven't seen this. I play a lot of board games, but not uh, not like this. So does Hawaii have uh, quite the gaming community? So we held a teaching day at one of our events Saturday. We have forty people show up. How many? Forty. Forty. Wow, at a teaching event. Yeah. Wow. Where do y'all host it? Uh, we rented one of the conference rooms upstairs for social distancing and spacing. One sure. One of the rooms upstairs is empty right now. So we just moved all the tables and all the stuff up there and just kind of thing. Well, that is awesome. Yeah. I love that. I love y'all have that community here. And so a lot of people paint their figures? Mm-hmm. Well, all of these come there plastic. So you have to paint them. So you have to paint them. Well, yes. I was you don't have to paint them. No one cares if they're painted or unpainted. Right. But, but you know, like, it's part of the yeah, hobby. Yeah, that's part of the hobby. That makes sense. That's cool. Thank you for sharing that with me. Bags and boards. It may sound silly, but I need some. Have to get me some of those. Top letters. I have to give me some of those too. Gosh, there's so much in this store. Such a cool, cool place. Tabletop games, I love it. Catan, played that Friday night. So here we have other boxes. So let's, let's, oh wow, I got like whole runs here. Punisher, wow. All right, so I'm not gonna go through all of these. I've gotta figure out which ones I want to look at. Go through them. Cheap first appearance. Okay, yeah. We're gonna be here a while, guys. We're gonna look through some books, set some stuff aside, and come back. I'm about to go through these bins here. It's quite a few, but I really like how they have them uh, sorted. So, shouldn't be too difficult. But I'm not gonna be able to record all of it and do it in a reasonable amount of time. So I uh, didn't realize they had this back room in here with all these uh, books about the day room briefly, but I want to show you this first. Like here's this amazing, you know, poster, Jim Lee goodness, X-Men goodness. Sorry about the glare. Look at this. It is signed by Jim Lee, Chris Claremont, and Scotty Young. Sweet, sweet stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look, they got some Spidey 2099 variant cover. Golly, I kind of want that. Gosh, I want everything. It's not going to dig through all these, but these are some sweet books back here. So, I'm not going to do all this on camera, but 
just they have all these variants this whole variant comment box I'll dig through those real quick i'll let you know if i find anything cool that i can share with everybody all right i'm walking out of the store i can't wait to show you guys what i got when i get in the car i had just the best time uh, at other realms here in hawaii all right, everybody, I want to recap the Hawaiian hunt for comic books, toys, and Marvel trading cards. Uh, I want to be quick into getting to what I was able to get, and then I'm going to recap the video after. So, uh, first of all, let me thank uh, Luke at Dragon Layer Comics here in uh, on Oahu, uh, near Honolulu on the North Shore. I was able to pick up uh, these two books, Women of Marvel. I grabbed these because I'm wanting to, to focus on first appearance of females in Marvel Comics. And, you know, this is just, uh, I thought would be a good reminder of who are the major uh, female uh, characters in the Marvel Universe. Uh, so that's why I grabbed these. Nothing super special, but uh, yeah, this is the regular release here. You know, it has, uh, let's see, you've got, oh, some, I think that's Shuri, Storm. Uh, Gamora, Elektra, and I'm not sure who the other female is there. I have to look into that. And then on the variant, we've got what looks to be Tigra, She-Hulk. I'm thinking maybe that's Spectra, but I, I don't know a robotic arm there. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm not sure who all those ladies are. So again, that's why I got the book, to be able to look and uh, create a list of females. And that way I can start chasing some first appearances beyond the ones that I already have. And uh, one of them I checked off the list on this trip. Uh, Luke at uh, Dragon Layer Comics gave me this Bounty Hunter book here. He had a price tag of $25 on it. Went to another store and they had a price tag of $50 on it. Average sales right now around 50 or so. And he gave it to me. Again, more about that later. Uh, thank you, Luke. Really appreciate you. And uh, really, really happy to have this book. This is a... Uh, Issue number one of the War of the Bounty Hunters. Uh, the next books I got, I got from an, a really just an incredible comic book store, guys. Top three comic book store experience of all time for me was at uh, Other Realms uh, in Honolulu. And I picked up three these three books here. I got these Wolverine books just because I have the, uh, you know, the, this is, this tells the origin story of Wolverine Weapon X. And I have issue number 72 that goes along with these. And so I wanted to try to complete that story arc. And I got these for three bucks a piece. They're all in, you know, 90, 9.4, 9.6 shape. Uh, so I didn't really want to pass that up. And they, because they're, they're grade worthy in the sense of a personal collection. Uh, to go along with that book which is being graded right now by cgc for me uh issue number 72 and you, you heard me mention just had a great experience part of that was because of the books i was able to get i got this spider gwen this is a whole run here uh along with this uh second variant here i'm not going to open all these up but uh was really happy to get this book right here such a great cover i mean just look at that i mean i just love it i love it love it love it uh, the way this kind of fades into the black and is highlighted here and you can see the venomized taking over spider Gwen. Uh, there's just so much about this book that's really incredible uh, and you know I, I had her first appearance uh, more about that later because uh, I sold the one that I have but anyways um, just a wonderful book wonderful book not to belabor this too much longer I also picked up the first appearance of Bishop and the cameo appearance here and uh i mean there's so many copies of this around the world i know i had a copy of this as a kid don't know what i did with it uh and have been really mad at myself for not having my original copy or at least i haven't been able to put my hands on it yet and uh, there's a chance it's in the attic uh they had four copies of this and they had them all for 50 bucks uh total for both books and i just want to be able to grab one that i could actually inspect the condition on uh, that because this thing does look really good graded it's Jim Lee goodness and so I didn't want to pass it up while it was in front of me and then uh, speaking of female first appearances this next book is, is huge for me uh, it's one that I've been eyeballing for some time yes I paid 
uh, a little bit of a premium uh, for all these books were you know books that I could get you know online for close if not maybe a little bit less than the price but to be able to buy them in hand to be able to buy them on this trip and this hunt to be able to share it with you is really important to me and that goes along with this next book here we've got Cindy Moon's first appearance uh, Silk just an incredible book uh, going through uh, the interiors I forgot how how awesome this book is and uh, just watching her become Silk uh, the thing I think is important about Silk as in comparison to Spidey Gwen Spidey Gwen lives in another another uh, verse uh, another Spidey verse she doesn't live in the same 616 Peter Parker verse as Silk does and right now, you know, Spidey Gwen's first appearances are going for over a thousand dollars raw, where Silk's is. I mean, I got this for two fifty. Uh, yes, the cover. I mean, the cover's awesome. Don't get me wrong, but it's not as good as Spider Gwen's first appearance because it's not a full appearance of Silk. But uh, but the interiors on this are incredible, and so uh, watching her not only become Silk, but she makes her own uh, <laughs> her own Silk suit. Uh, made of her wedding it's just incredible 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 so uh, love this love this book it is a cool cover even though she's not on there uh, I've looked through every page of this book looked at the spine in the back and the front and the corners definitely a 9-8 candidate so you know after about you know getting this graded I mean this is a four or five hundred dollar book but I think once Silk is introduced into the MCU whether it be via animated animation or a movie you're gonna see that comic book take off like Spider Gwen has. All right, the last book I got here, big book for me, great color here. Um, you know, as my brother says, it's got great color in it. And and actually, it's not a bad copy. I mean, it it may be an eight out, okay, but it's got it's got some stuff on it that you know it's pretty rough here. But this is again, this one's not about the grading for me. This is about the experience of being able to get this here in Honolulu. You know and pick it out myself and put it in my hands and, and pay for it without having to do you know click ship you know to the house uh, which is what i often have to do to get the books that i want so really really happy to get this hawaii honolulu <laughs> hunting trip uh star wars that just really capped it off for me to get you know the first uh luke skywalker and it's interesting i just noticed this so that's obi-wan kenobi here on the cover but yet they consider Obi-Wan Kenobi's first appearance in issue two, but he has a cover appearance on issue one. Somebody's gonna have to explain that to me. But it is a newsstand, and you know, I'm one of those guys, I think newsstand matters when it's a high grade, uh, when it's a lower grade, not as much, but you know, whatever. Um, it is a regular 30 cent variant, so nothing, nothing special as it relates to that. But it is special to me, very happy to have it, very thankful to be able to get it on this trip. And be able to share it with you guys so so yeah i had <laughs> a little bit more of the view i had a really happy hunt here in hawaii and i got books that i've been wanting been chasing been looking for for some time and was able to get them in person while i was in paradise <laughs> you know just so much fun so with that guys i'm going to wrap up this portion of the video and share a little bit more about my experiences at the two comic book shops, including, including me getting cussed out at the very first one. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, how'd I get cussed out? Well, I'm gonna share that with you up next. So uh, this portion of the video, I wanna talk about the uh, comic book store owner that cussed me out. So, you know, we're, I'm driving around my family and we're, you know, in a, in a foreign place to us in terms of, you know, culture and you know what to expect but uh but you know, after being here a few days in hawaii people have been like incredible super incredible super hospitable hospitable and and really open to tourists like i assume they're like this is just kind of their way of life um and so you know with that in mind uh, i'm wanting to create this video this toy hunt video with you guys uh and comic book hunt here in hawaii and make it super fun and super interactive and you know the, the best way that i can and and i kind of wanted you to have the whole experience so with that in mind uh the first comic book store i went to i was referred there actually from a friend 
uh, out in Utah who who had heard of who had spent some time here and heard of this uh, store and, and said it was a cool cool spot. So we pull up after we find it. Uh, took us a little bit, but uh, but we located it and. Uh, the store opened at 11, but we get there like at 10.35, 10.40. So we're just sitting in the car, drinking coffee, hanging out. And at about 10.50, uh, you could tell that the store owner, owner flips on the lights and flips over the clothes sign to open. And I'm like, oh, well, he, he must see us out here. Uh, I've already been to the, to the door once, uh, took a couple of photos, captured a couple of shots that I wanted to use for the YouTube video. And I thought, you know, maybe he saw me and he's just like, hey, come on in, you know? Like, again, I'm thinking, kind of created this story in my mind that everybody's like super hospitable and welcoming. And so uh, I walked through the door already recording because I wanted you guys to have that first kind of glimpse into the store that I had. And we, you know, me and the uh, comic book store owner named Luke, I'll call him Luke from here on out, Luke, and I start to have what I thought was like this really pretty cool exchange. And I have my camera up, you know, like sideways recording. And, and we're doing an exchange. And, you know, I had planned to say, hey, do you mind if I shoot some video in your store? Like I'm, I'm making an Hawaiian video, uh, you know, hunt a video for you know, my subscribers and friends in the States. And as soon as he saw the camera, man, it, it, it triggered something in Luke. Um, he, he was not happy, was not happy that I was already recording and him in the store, which, you know, he's right. And, um, you know, a little bit of a lesson learned there. I'm so used to going into retail stores where, you know, you have employees and, you know, they don't ever have their guard down. They're kind of always you know, in kind of corporate mindset. So somebody's with a camera, that's fine, not a big deal. You know, going into Game Stops and Targets and Walmarts and things like that. Um, and even if I were to go into my local comic book shop, uh, which I do have one, yeah, you know, the guy knows me, he knows I record, he knows I have a YouTube channel. So, you know, I, I should have been more thoughtful. And as soon as he saw that the camera was already rolling, man, he got really upset, like really upset and pulled out his phone, started recording me. And, you know, I just decided, hey, I, I'm gonna be committed to letting this guy know that even though we don't know each other, I care about him, I had no harm intended at all. And, you know, really wanted to be a benefit to his store and, and, and have fun, have fun. So as Luke continued to somewhat uh, berate me, <laughs> uh, uh, he's definitely good at berating people. Um, and I just stayed like in his hip pocket all around the store. As he tried to walk away, like while he was still kind of going at it, I just stayed with him. And just said, just to let him know, like I wasn't trying to create space and distance. I wasn't trying to uh, pull myself away from this awkward exchange. And I'm just gonna go straight at him with full of love and grace and was apologetic saying, hey, look, no harm did not mean anything at all. Just want you got you to know, man, like I'm I'm okay. The camera's off. I won't do it if you don't want me to. And um, you know what? Like I think he sensed that. I think he realized, hey, this is not a goon who's come up in my store to to be all about himself and to uh, you know maybe capture some some stuff that uh, that would be shown in a negative light towards him. Um, and that I really did care and like Luke's uh, demeanor completely changed. And he was like, you know what, I'm sorry. You're fine, you can record anything you want to in the store and and you can have 40% off of anything in the store, period. Doesn't matter what it is for the price, the price tag. I was like, wow, 40% off. And um, which I told him he didn't have to do. Like, it's okay, like I'm all right. I'm happy to pay asking price on all this stuff here and do that for you. So with that being said, uh, he, I ended up buying two books and uh, there, there wasn't a ton in there that I needed or really wanted, but I did want to buy something. So I ended up buying two books. And as I'm checking out, I see this Star Wars book. I'm like, hey, I'd like to get that. And the dude just gives it to me, $25 book. Blows my mind, so happy. But anyways, guys, that uh, I wanted to share that with you. And then lastly, at Other Realms Comics, Eric there, just again an amazing experience 
Uh, if you're here in Honolulu, check both those guys out. Uh, had, had just the best time with each one of them. And uh, thank you for watching the channel. We reached 500 subscribers recently, and I'm super stoked. Uh, love each one of you, and I hope you all have a marvelous day.